I can't say good morning, right? Because we don't know if people are watching this in the uh, afternoon. Good day. Good day. Hello, fly fish fooders. This is Cheech coming at you with a caddis tutorial. This one's pretty cool. Uh, Curtis and I got our ever living butts kicked one day on the river uh, because we didn't have caddis that were dark enough and scraggly enough. So I, I hit the bench and uh, this is kind of what I played with. It's kind of a variation of a whole bin bunch of different things, but nothing special on the hook. You can use your favorite standard dry fly hook. This is, I don't know, it's either a Tiemco or a Daiichi. Uh, I'm, I just put them all in the same bin, but it's a size 14. So I'm just gonna dress this with thread all the way down to the butt. And I'm gonna add just a little wisp of yarn, whether it's sparkly merger yarn, Antron, Zelon, uh, any of that. You saw I took my thread back forward. But I'll just wrap that on. You can see I'm keeping it on, on top of the shank. And I'm not gonna cut it quite as long as the, the length of the body. But I'm just gonna cut it flat for now. And then I'm gonna come in here and cut it at an angle on the top and the bottom. Maybe on the side a little bit to kind of give it a little bit of a ragged presentation. So after the tail's in, it's only two materials. It's squirrel and CDC. So for the, for the back half, again, this is, you can't really read that. It says Mason squirrel. So my good uh, buddy Mason shot me a squirrel. He's my son Fusa's buddy. And I have a full bag of squirrel dub that will last me forever. But if, if you have like fox squirrel, uh, the only thing that I've found is if you want to do this in olive, you kind of have to take a, a squirrel zonker strip and shave it. Anyway, so I, I just have a very thin noodle of dubbing on the on the thread and I'm just gonna wrap that forward and I'm gonna taper a little bit. And squirrel really dubs down tight, especially if you go over the top of it. So there's our body and you can see all those guard hairs sticking out and I do want it to be buggy but I'm going to trim those off for now. We're going to add the buggy part on the top of the fly or on the front. So there's my body. Um, now this is super cool. This is a color of Trout Hunter Premium CDC and Caddis Dunn and I stole a big bulk bag of it so it's just cash money. I'll show you like look at how full those fibers are that that's prime quality CDC so uh, this this color caddis done big B brought it to a fly fish food planning meeting once and we all decided we couldn't live without it so I want to take two nice and full feathers and I'm going to line those up by the tips so just like that and I'm just going to lay those about to the back of the body and I'm going to tie those in and I made kind of a thicker band of thread than I would normally use because now I can take my thread to the back to right where the wing comes out of that little thread wrap and I can pull those fibers over and then I'm going to take my scissors and trim them but if I come in here and trim them at an angle It looks totally natural. It doesn't look like I've lopped off the, the feather and it's almost like I put four CDC feathers in there. All right, the front of the fly is super easy. I'm gonna take the trusty gator grip tool and I'm gonna make a pretty small loop and close off the end here And then I attach the tool and just kind of keep that loop open by my fingertip just a little bit. 
And now I'm going to take more squirrel and I'm just going to insert that into the loop. It doesn't take much. Better to use more than you think you'll need though. And the way that I'm pulling the squirrel out of the bag is I just cut the corner off the bag here. So when I pull the squirrel out, it's all kind of lined up how I want it. Curtis surely edited out our conversation, but he doesn't have the little TMCO brush picker. <clears throat> That's fine, because I'm just going to use Velcro. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to pick this out ever so slightly. And what that does is it takes out a little bit of that under fur. I kind of want the guard hairs mostly. Uh, and what, what that does is it's going to turn this into like a hackle. And the beauty of this is I can stick my finger through this. So as I wrap this, I can use my left hand and preen those fibers back. And I'll do three to four to five wraps just until I get up to the, the eye of the hook. So once I cut that off, I'm going to clean that up make a little bit of a head and then just whip finish that. And put your favorite cement on there or whatever. Now when you have it done, come back through and now pick it out again. So yeah, the squirrel will absorb some water. So the cool thing with this fly is you can either fish it right on the surface because the CDC will help it to float, or you could kind of swing it through the current, but um, super buggy fly. And that is literally exactly what a caddis looks like when it hatches. Anyway, tie them up, fish them, skate them, and get the TMCO brush that Curtis doesn't even have.